Hey, North Star, welcome to Digging Deeper, where we help you lock eyes with Jesus and take a step towards Him. Today's scripture reading is 1 Corinthians 15, verse 23 through 26. God's word says this, But each in his own order, Christ, the first fruits, afterward, at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, when he abolishes all rule, all authority, and power. For he must reign until he puts all enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be abolished is death. 1 Corinthians 15, 23 through 26 discusses the order of the last things, discusses the order of the end of the world. And it has been believed always, everywhere and by all, that Jesus Christ will return to the earth in due time to complete his restoration project. So we see in verse 23 that this restoration project has already begun and has an order by which it will progress. So number one, we see that Christ, the first fruits, like we talked about yesterday, has been resurrected, that Jesus Christ lived a perfect life, died a death that we deserve, and he rose again victorious, that the, this project of restoration has begun. But then second, we see that Jesus will return to the earth in physical form, and those who belong to Christ will be physically resurrected, that my physical body, that your physical body, if we have passed away by that time, will rise from the dead and be reunited with our spiritual souls. And then third, we see that Jesus will hand over the kingdom of God to God the Father, that this entire earth will be made new and Jesus will be the one who is ruling and reigning. We see the primary object that will take place in this time is that Jesus will abolish, that word's repeated twice here, of all that stands in opposition to God and his kingdom. Jesus will cause all rule, all authority, and all power to be made into nothing. He will wipe it away. He will cause, he will cause it to cease. And then lastly, it tells us in verse 28 that he will abolish death. Now, death is the ultimate enemy of the Christian. In Christian thought, death is not extinction, but rather death is separation. Death is the separation from the way things are meant to be. It's the separation of the soul from the body. It's the separation between the unity of relationships. It's the separation from God's original design. So when Jesus comes again to redeem all things, he will abolish death and will bring unity back to God's intended order. And so as he abolishes death, he reverses the curse and brings life. That as he abolishes evil, sin, and death, we experience fullness once and for all. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for your word. We pray that by the power of your spirit, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 23 through 26, would change us into the likeness of Christ. And Lord, we rejoice that death will be abolished once and for all. God, our, our final enemy will be done away with. God, we thank you that you are redeeming all things. And we, uh, we long for the day, Lord. And pray this now, Father, through your Son and by your Spirit. Amen.